Now, I like to call upon the next presenter of the day, Dr. Maria, under the topic, Changing Cultural Values and Grassroots Transformation in Nigeria. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Maria Itanyong from University of Ibadan in Nigeria. I lecture in the Department of um, Institute of African Studies and um, under the unit of Cultural and Media Studies. I'm very excited to join others, and I really want to comment and thank the organizers of this conference. Also want to appreciate the past um, presenters so far. My topic is uh, changing cultural values and grassroots development. Um, because I believe that so many things are going wrong as long as cultural values are concerned and so many people are dissatisfied with the current, with the obsolete and irrelevant um, cultural value. So the purpose of my paper is to propose a change in cultural values content to digitize um, technology so the cultural values will not go into extinction. Values are valued by everybody. We value values and we want them to stay. We want to sustain them. But what we are saying, what we are saying is that the current one that is going on in Nigeria is obsolete and is no longer relevant to the current trend of things. For instance, our people are rejecting change and they don't want to embrace new changes. But something happened about two years ago when the COVID-19 pandemic came in, we saw that everybody ran, everybody got scared. And based on that, so many people embraced all the changes that were going on by then, such like a compulsory use of a face mask, compulsory washing, I mean, people do, did that in order to survive. And um, that's why I'm looking that we can apply some, same to other sectors, educational sectors. I was talking about this one. I now want to go to the problem. Let's move. So I'm trying to say that we have so many relevant and obsolete values and so many people are dissatisfied. Adults, youth and children. As, as I, I told you that I teach cultural and media studies. The issue is a very serious issue of concern to my students. They keep raising these issues that why are you still going on with all the changes in the world, with, with the globalization, with the new trends, that in Nigeria, we are still marking time with the old cultural values, certain values like women are not allowed to go further certain level of education. Even the health sector, there are certain medications that Nigerians are not allowed to embrace or benefit because of a uh, culture, because of traditional value, values. Even our mar uh, marriage system is even affecting our marriage system. The way we are still falling back in the old ways of organizing marriage, you know, uh, making it so expensive, making the people concerned to be so unhappy, making the couples to be so unhappy because the parents are in disagreement. They don't want to embrace what is going on in other cultures. Other cultures are so not so expensive, but Nigerian cultural uh, values makes it impossible. In fact, enforces expensive marriage cultural system. And people don't like this at all. They are dissatisfied. So we want to introduce, we want to see how we can bring a change, new ease of life, so that life will be easy, especially for those at the grassroots. They suffer a lot. They are not allowed to know what is going on uh, in other parts of the world. They are not connected. If they try to be connected, our people see it as something that is uh, not acceptable and uh, not normal. So we want to move over that state of not normal and not acceptable and move on because the whole world is going on. Anyway, my method is, is purely um, 
qualitative. I employed observation and discussion methods. I moved to people. I consulted relevant research works. And then I moved to people in the towns, in the university, in local communities, also moved to church leaders. I moved with the market leaders. I spoke with them, the main leaders, the market women, the women leaders, the youths. I sought their opinions on the um, obsolete cultural values. And they all agreed that we need change. They all agreed that we need change that is no longer relevant. And then um, I'm on that result and discussion now. So from the outcome of my discussion of my findings, the paper found that digitizing cultural values we reposition and add values to cultural content for cultural transformation in local communities. We need to upgrade. We need to join others. We need to see what others are doing and join them. We need to be opened up to the world. We need others to come in and invest in us because uh, there are some of the cultural values that do not allow our foreign investors to come in. Even there are some NGOs that cannot function in local communities. In fact, there are even some traditions that do not allow the foreigners to come in to enlighten. So the people at home, they are just like that. They are not enlightened. Yeah. They are not enlightened. They don't know much what is going on in the world. So that is what we want to do now. We want our people. In fact, we're even talking about our culturization. We don't even want, not that we want to throw away our own cultures, but we want to merge it with others. We want to open up to others and we want others to enjoy our own culture. So new values will influence social lives at the communities and people will be enlightened and new behaviors will be inculcated into the, uh, the, the community lives and then their views on traditional uh, beliefs and laws and custom would change and they will be able to embrace the whole world. So I can now move to the significance of this paper. This, with the significance of this paper, I want to say that since the values are widely recognized and respected by community people, that is Nigerians, as what is important to them, as what is necessary to their survival, as what they identified with, and something that will um, um, uh, positive, uh, positively impact their way of life, their needs, their, with changing cultural values at the grassroots. So with this paper, they will begin to understand why they should embrace cultural values, why they should do away with irrelevant ones, and why they, will, they should embrace the media, especially the social media. And again, why the media themselves should do their work by enlightening the people, by creating awareness of the harmful cultural values, and then they should promote the positive ones. Conclusion. The paper concludes that due to the global changes such as COVID-19 pandemic, Nigerians cannot afford to live with what is termed normal or acceptable at the grassroots. There is a connect, we believe, between changing cultural values and grassroots transformation. New cultural values, we believe, will save family and social values from extension. Again, Changing cultural values are seen in the modes of acting, speaking, dressing, even in the eating habit through social media. Social media have invariably exposed all these things. So why do individuals still hook to the, uh, the obsolete values and they don't want to embrace? And we are saying that since the social media have exposed all these things, that we should lower our pride and accept change. 
We also said that there will be positive change in the community's values, norms, and the people's lifestyles, as well as access to new uh, talents and increase, and it will increase glo uh, global cultural awareness. If people are free from obsolete values, they'll be able to have their own minds. With their own minds, they will begin to think better, think in a creative manner. They'll be able to invent so many things that will be relevant to their ways of life. Recommendation. The future step is for the community leaders and community people to be liberated from obsolete cultural values. We are saying that they are obsolete, they are no longer um, relevant. And we are saying that we should embrace uh, the principle of acculturation to keep up with the emerging um, global demands and survival of the future of the community people. Thank you very much. I have about five references here. Um, we are here with me. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Doctor. Now, I request the participants to raise any queries and please put it in the chat box or a QA session so that Doctor would answer you. Dr. Maria, we have one question. Yes. How do we encourage women in Nigeria to further their education and mm -hmm. that their dreams are valid? Last month, there was a trend of a young 22 girl being told by her boyfriend to choose between him and a fully funded scholarship in the UK. Let's use this as a case study. The first question, how do we encourage women in Nigeria to further their education that their dreams may be valid? Um, this could be done through creation of awareness, moving and meeting women in groups, meeting some of the educated women, making, talking to women in churches, going down to the grassroots, meeting them in different groups, encouraging them and telling them about the usefulness of education, telling them why they need to be educated in so many areas, in the health sectors, in education sectors, even in the social sectors. We can do that by moving with them, gathering them and training them, counseling them, encouraging them and coaching them on latest issues. Number two questions, please, I can't get that one. Yes, Dr. Maria, there's one number more question. Number two question. I can see number two question. Yeah, yeah, I'll read it for you. Great topic, what other ways are you planning to bring about these changes about from media knowing that the change is a difficult process? Yes, I would like to stand on the media, both traditional media, conventional uh, media, television, radio broadcasts. We will do jingles. We would just whatever we have will be broadcasted to the whole nation. Even those in their communities, those of them who may not have lights or who may not have access to television. Radio is there for the community people. And um, creation awareness is there. I mean, people, we move to them. We can move uh, from house to house. We can engage the local schools. We can engage the local church churches and then make arrangements to invite the people so that we'll be able to talk to them, to counsel them and to encourage them. Thank you so much, doctor. We have one more question. Cultures all over the world have great positive values which should be yes. copied and improved on while negative vices in the culture should be discouraged. Um, yes, there are so many reasons why um, uh, obsolete cultures should um, be discouraged. Once we are able to move above obsolete ones, we will be enlightened. So many changes are going on in the world. There are so many inventions. We no longer want the negative cultures. They should go. We said that the negative ones, they should go. They should go. We don't want them again. 
with the new trends in the world, um, people will be educated with what is going. People will be able to create. People will be able to uh, um, uh, to, to to invent. For instance, like in Nigerian hairdo, we can see the new trend. We can see how the people are embracing the new trend. In the past, we only maintained the black hairdo and trade one, but we could see how different colors have come and people are embracing it and that and people are happy. So other things like that in education, so many women um, have moved up. They are lecturers, they are teaching, they are owning companies, they are owning um, um, television shows, and all those things were not allowed before. And we need a new one so that women can move on and they'll be satisfied with their lives. The whole Nigeria can move on, even other countries, so, and, be, and, and, and they'll be able to sustain, they'll be able to survive because so many things are changing. We don't know what is likely to happen tomorrow. So we should be able to embrace um, all these digital devices so that we know what is going on and then follow the trend. Thank you so much for the brief. We have one last question. What particular values are we targeting for change and which foreign culture values are we sell? Foreign or global culture to imbibe? Well, there are so many values. And you know, um, um, to me, there are certain values like um, values of love, sincerity, honesty, truthfulness, because if we are truthful to ourselves, we will we'll be able to, to encourage and, um, and counsel others in the right way to go. You know, there are so many uh, corruptions and dissatisfaction, and those are covered under cultural values. But if we can bring up those of uh, transparency, law, accepting others, opening up to others, opening up our borders, embracing other cultures, in fact, sharing other cultures, I think that things will be better. Thank you so much, Dr. Maria. That was a wonderful presentation and you have received a lot of appreciations. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.